In this short video, let's take a look at the new V-Ray toolbar and quick settings added to V-Ray 3.0. One of the first things you notice when you install V-Ray 3.0 is the V-Ray toolbar. This puts all common V-Ray tools in a single convenient location. I prefer to dock the toolbar along the side while I'm working. Now from the toolbar, let's select the new quick settings feature. Quick settings provide artists with common render presets and simple slider controls to fine tune quality. For this exterior environment, we can choose the ArcViz exterior if we're rendering a still image, VFX if we're rendering animation, or Custom if we'd like to load our own preset. For this example, let's choose ArcViz exterior. Next, we decide which GI combination we'd like directly from the dropdown. Here we have choices for no GI, brute force for both primary and secondary, brute force and light cache, a radiance and light cache, a radiance map and brute force. In this case, let's use a radiance map and light cache. Next, we select the GI quality using the slider. We adjust the shading rate, the anti-aliasing quality, and then last we check if we want to use the bucket render or the new progressive render. In this case, let's use the new progressive render. You'll notice that the pre-passes for light cache and irradiance map will calculate first, and then the progressive render will kick in. Quick settings make the process of setting off renders faster and simpler, and the V-Ray toolbar provides quick access to common V-Ray tools. Both of these new features have been specifically designed to speed up artist workflow. Thank you for watching, and be sure to check out our other V-Ray 3.0 videos.